Good day, Turbo fans and retro game enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of Turbo Tuesday. Consoles were up against some new competition in the early 90s. The Multimedia PC, or MPC. During this era, you would find many PC titles ported to game consoles. Sim Earth was one such game. Originally developed by Maxis, the TurboGrafx port was released by TTI in 1993. Sim Earth is a simulation game where you have the ability to develop a planet. It is also an excellent learning tool that teaches topics such as evolution and climate control. There are four difficulty levels to choose from, with eight different planet scenarios. You can terraform Mars or even build a water world. There are many different controls to this game and reading the manual is advised. You will also receive some guidance from the planet-shaped mascot Gaia. Using your tools, see if you can develop an entire planet. Sim Earth has unlimited replay value as you can design many different worlds. Hidden within this game is a secret life form. Can you find it? If you like a challenge, try this game out. It is a great addition to the library. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next episode of Turbo Tuesday. Follow us on Twitter for the latest updates. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Simmerith! My name's Gaia, and I'll guide you through the game. It's said that the universe began with a big bang. Afterwards, the universe continued to expand and cool, forming the stars and planets. The Earth is quite possibly the most beautiful planet in the universe. Today's Earth, with its seven seas and five continents, is very different from the primitive Earth, which had just one continuous continent. This one great continent was thought to have been split by the continental drift, which slowly changed the surface of the Earth to its present shape. While floating in those warm, shallow seas, the process of division, evolution, and extinction was repeated eon after eon. Various types of living creatures slowly emerged.
These bones represent all that remains of this now extinct species. day earth is ruled by some rather advanced primates called humans. Science has advanced, but what at first glance seems to be an intelligent world is faced with many problems such as pollution, war, and the decay of our cities. I'm sad, so very sad. Life on Earth can't flourish when I'm sad. If people do their best to take care of their planet, it will become a much nicer place to live. It's the healthy environment that evolves new life forms which could develop into incredible new civilizations. Your planet's future is in your hands. 